Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Okay, back to Leviticus and concluding Leviticus 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man shall make a singular vow, the person shall be for the Lord by thy estimation. And we're going to make a dedication to God in this chapter. I am going to vow something to God. Thy estimation shall be of the male from 20 years old, even unto 60 years old, 20 to 60. Even thy estimation shall be 50 shekels of silver. Silver is the key. That's redemption. Buying back. Silver in the Bible pictures redemption. After the shekel of the sanctuary. And if it be a female, then thy estimation shall be 30 shekels. So in the Bible, there is male over female, which the world does not want. It's a Bible fact. And if there be five years old, even to 20 years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male 20 shekels, and for the female 10 shekels. And if there be from a month old, even unto five years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male 5 shekels of silver, and the female of thy estimation shall be 3 shekels of silver. Realize and I've seen it many times, a baby dedication in a church. They don't realize what they're doing. And the baby dedications I've seen, many of them, they, they end up worthless. The parents don't, don't raise that child in life. And some of them I can think of right now are not even in a church anymore. And yet, when you make a vow, the Bible says, that you, if you're going to make a vow, you prefer not to pay it. And then you run off away from God and you're not taking part in the church. And you're not giving to the church or to God. You fail. You will be found accountable. Verse 7. If it be from 60 years old and above. If it be a male, even thy estimation shall be 15 shekels. And for the female, 10 shekels. But if he be poorer than thy estimation, he ain't got enough money. Then he shall present himself before the priest, and the priest shall value him. According to his ability, that vow shall the priest value him. So if he can't afford the shekel, walks up to the priest and says, listen, I'm, I, I've made a vow. I'm, I just can't afford it, though. And the priest will value him. And if it be a beast, not just a human, but the beast, where a man bring an offering unto the Lord, all that any man giveth of such unto the Lord, shall be holy he shall not alter it nor change it good for bad or bad for good so he says listen this is god's i'm going to give it to god no matter what the stance of that animal is i say it gets injured that's still god's it's still considered holy now shall be exchanged thereof shall be holy and if it be any unclean beast we saw the dietary law those are unclean beasts of which they do not offer a sacrifice in the Lord. You don't bring an ass to the Lord for a sacrifice. You don't bring a dog for a sacrifice. Then he shall present the beast before the priest. So here's the animal. And the priest shall value it whether it be good or bad. As thou values it. Who art the priest? Uh, who art the priest? So shall it be. So whatever the priest says. Oh, wouldn't it be great if you had a, a religious organization set up a priest that whatever they say, that's where the Roman Catholic Church gets it from. 
What's the estimation about? Well, when someone dies, if you give a set amount of money, then we'll pray them out of purgatory. That's where it just comes from. Old Testament. But if he will let, will let all redeem it, then he shall add fifth part, 20%, there up to an estimation. You want it back? You want to buy it back? What we just read, the price, and 20%. When a man shall sanctify his house to be holy. I want this house to be given to God. Unto the Lord. Then the priest shall es estimate it. Whether it be good or bad. As the priest shall estimate. So shall it stand. Now we got an organization in the governments today. Local governments. Appraisers. And they come over and they look at your house. And they appraise it. It's Leviticus 27 verse 14. And the priest did the appraisal under God not just to add a zero so you can get more taxes that priest was to seek God that priest was to pray to God that priest was to work under God and if he that sanctified will redeem his house you're going to buy it back then you shall add the fifth part of the money of thy estimation unto it and it shall be his so let's just say make it even if a hundred dollars has been the price he gives a hundred dollars Plus 20%. 120%. If a man shall sanctify unto the Lord some part of a field of his possession, then thy estimation shall be according to the seed thereof. Alright, now not looking at the, the, the land, you're looking at what is in the land. A homer barley seed shall be at shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. So whatever you're growing in that field, there's a price set already. If he sanctify his field from the year of Jubilee, or Jubal, according to thy estimation, it shall stand. So we're looking at Jubilee again. But if he sanctify his field after the Jubal, then the priest shall reckon, day of reckoning, unto him the money according to the years that remain of the Jubilee, even unto the year of Jubal, and it shall be abated from that estimation. Again, we're looking at the uh, Jubilee as a date, as a set time. And if he that sanctified the field will in any wise redeem it, then he shall add a fifth part of the money of thy estimation unto it, and it shall be assured to him. So he's given it to God. He wants to redeem it back. He has to pay the price and 20%. And if he will not redeem the field, and if he has sold the field to another man, it shall not be redeemed anymore. So sale of that makes it final. But the field, when it goeth out in jubil, jubilee, shall be holy unto the Lord. As a field devoted, the possession thereof shall be the priest. It belongs to the priest. Sanctifying, you're giving it to God, which enhances to the priest. And if a man sanctifies, set apart unto the Lord a field, which he has bought, which is not of the fields of his possession, then the priest shall reckon unto him the worth of thy estimation, even unto the year of the jubil, and he shall give thy estimation in that day as a holy thing unto the Lord. In the year of jubil, the field shall return unto him of whom it was bought, even to him to whom the possession of land did belong. And all thy estimations shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Twenty gerahs shall be the shekel. You're telling what gerahs are, are to the price of a shekel. It's a set amount by God. Only the first firstling of the beasts, sheep, oxen, goats, which should be the Lord's firstling, no man shall sanctify it, whether it be ox or sheep, it is the Lord. So you can't redeem that sheep. You cannot redeem that ox. That goes right to the temple. And that gets put on that altar. And if it be of an unclean beast. Pause. Swine. Then he shall redeem it according to thy estimation. He says if you redeem an ox with it. I mean an ass with a lamb. And if you won't you're to break its neck. And add a fifth part of it there too. Or if it be not redeemed, then he shall be sold according to thy estimation. Notwithstanding, no devoted thing 
that a man shall devote unto the Lord of all that he has, both of man and beast, and of the field of his possession, shall be sold or redeemed. So you devote something to God, you don't hand it over to the world. Again, baby dedication. Every devoted thing is most holy unto the Lord. Be careful what your church has you do without you know what's going on. None devoted, which shall be devoted of men, shall be redeemed, but shall surely be put to death. Now, yeah, I can do that with your child. I'm talking about beast. Whatever animal you said, I'm giving this to God, it goes to the altar. All the tithe of the land, whether the seed of the land, fruits and vegetables, or the fruit of the tree, nuts, fruits, is, uh, is the Lord's, it is holy unto the Lord. So you have to tithe your produce. You've got to count what you got for your from your crops. And a 10% of that goes to God. And if a man will all redeem all of his tithe, he shall add the fifth part thereof. And concerning the tithe of the herd or the flock, even of what silver passes under the rod. Now what you do is you have a narrow way. And you, animals go one by one with them, and you got a rod in here. One, two, three. Tenth one, you poke that animal, you put it off the side. That goes to God. You count again. One, two. When you get to ten, you poke that animal, you put it off the side. That's God. That's what that means with a rod. The tenth shall be holy unto the Lord. Every tenth animal is God. He shall not search whether it be good or bad. You line up your animals, they go through, and that tenth animal, that's God's. That next tenth animal is God's. It's kind of weird because usually God will say with the offerings, you know, no blemish, perfect. But with the tithes, every tenth. And you shall he change it. Well, I don't, that one don't look so well. I'll give it a good one. God says, no. A man that has animals is to make them line up single file and he pokes with that rod, the tenth. Neither shall he exchange it, and if he change it at all, look at that. Tells you you can't do it, but if you do, then both it and the change thereof shall be holy. So God's getting two instead of one. A good one and a bad one. It shall not be redeemed. You can't buy it back. These are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses. For the children of Israel in Mount Sinai. We're still in Exodus 20, 21, 22. At the close of Leviticus.